In this lesson, we'll have our artist and album classes adopt the NS coding protocol so they can participate in this keyed archiving process. In order for an object to be archived via the NS keyed archiver class, it first needs to adopt the NS coding protocol. So let me switch to the artist class, and I'm going to declare that I adopt the NS coding protocol. Let's just quickly look at this protocol. It defines two methods, encode with coder and init with coder. When an object is archived to disk, the encode with coder method is invoked, and this allows us to determine what data values we want to store and how to store them. Init with coder is then used when unarchiving an object and is used to determine how the encoded values read from disk get properly mapped back into the instance variables on our object. So let's go back to the artist class. So we've adopted the protocol. Switch to the artist implementation. We can see right off the bat we're getting a compilation warning. And that's because we've adopted this protocol but have not yet implemented its methods. So let's take care of that. I'll first begin by defining a couple key values. I'm using the C preprocessor's define directive to define a couple string values. When our code is run through the preprocessor, all the instances of these token values in our code will be replaced with these associated strings. Let me start with the init with coder method. When the object gets unarchived, this method will be called, and this allows us to read the encoded values from the NS coder instance and assign those values to our instance variables. I'll then implement the encode with coder method. This method gets called when the object is archived, and I use the NS coder instance pass to this method to encode these various values that I want to save. Now let's go over to the album class, and we'll once again define some key values for this. We want to implement our init with coder. So very much the same process that we had in the previous class, but just quite a few more properties. Finally, the encode with coder. So in all of these properties, I'm encoding a particular value under a particular key. Let's go back to the view controller. If you'll remember from an earlier lesson, when we attempted to write the album object, the app crashed spectacularly. So let's see if we've resolved that problem. Let me create an artist instance as well. And we'll just create a new artist, artist with ID one and the Beatles. And let's assign that artist to this album. All right, the moment of truth. I'll write the data. Well, that looks good right there. Didn't explode this time. And let's try reading it. And there we go. We have our album. You now know how to properly use the NS coding protocol. Adopting and conforming to this protocol involves a fair amount of busy work, but it's generally a straightforward process.